Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. This video I uh, will explain the price elasticity of supply. So this is the only elasticity that uh, comes from the supply side. Okay, so now what is the price elasticity of supply? This elasticity measure the sensitivity of or responsiveness of the quantity supplied due to a change in the price of a product or service. We know the relationship between quantity supplied and the price of that product. And the if you uh, still remember, the law of supply is positive value. Okay, the higher the the price, the higher the quantity supplied means that the more expensive. Uh, the product you will supply more okay the formula is coefficient value equals to percentage change in quantity supply of product x divided by percentage change in the price of product x or we can simplify by using the new quantity minus the original quantity divided by the original quantity times the original price divided by new price minus the original price so this one is the change of the uh, increase or reduce the quantity and also the price we also can use midpoint formula as the new quantity minus the original quantity divided by the new price minus the original price times summation of price divided by 2 all together divided by summation of Q divided by 2 and if you calculate this price elasticity of supply you always get positive value okay we have five degrees of the price elasticity of supply if you get the coefficient value is more than one means that the supply would be elastic okay a small okay this one small percentage change in the price will lead to a larger percentage change in quantity supply for example, 1% change in price, increase in price will lead to 5% increase in quantity. So the quantity demand is very responsive or uh, is quite sensitive towards the change in price. So here, if we calculate 5% divided by 1% equals to 5. And if you look at the diagram, the curve, supply curve is flatter. Okay, this one flatter the slope is flat okay the second one is inelastic supply for inelastic supply when you get the coefficient value less than one meaning a large percentage change in the price will lead to a smaller will affect a smaller percentage change in the quantity supply the quantity is not really response to the the price changes for example agriculture product if the price of banana for example and if you look at the diagram the supply curve is steeper okay steeper compared to elastic supply the next one is unitary elastic when you get coefficient value equals to one a condition in which percentage change in price equals to percentage change in quantity supply if you uh, calculate the coefficient would be 1 5 percent divided by 5 percent the fourth one is perfectly elastic supply when coefficient value equals to infinity a condition in which a small percentage change a very small percentage change in price leads to an infinite percentage of change in quantity supply and the curve is horizontal okay horizontal supply curve and the last one perfectly in elastic supply perfectly in elastic supply when the coefficient value equals to zero a condition in which quantity supply does not change as the price changes if you look at here price change but the quantity supply zero if you calculate zero divided by five you will get zero curve of the supply uh, is vertical could you um, differentiate the degree the five degrees of the elasticity of supply 
Okay, now we proceed to the determinants of price elasticity of supply. Determinants means the factors that determine that uh, uh, determine the degree of the price elasticity of supply, whether it is um, elastic or inelastic. So the first factor is technology improvement. If we use advanced technology, we can respond. Okay, the seller can respond uh, to produce more as the price increase. The second is availability and mobility of factors of production. The more easily and rapidly producers can shift resources between alternative uses, the greater the price elasticity of supply. If the resources or factors of production hard to get or uh, it's not mobile, the price elasticity will be inelastic. The next one is perishability. Perishable product is less elastic supply than the durable product. For example, agriculture or vegetable or fruits is a perishable good. So this kind of perishable product is less elastic compared to durable product just like computer or car. The next one is nature of the market. Product can be sold in different market is more elastic supply. But if your product only can be sold in only one market, the supply will be inelastic. And the last one, immediate market period. The length of time over which producers are unable to respond to a change in price with a change in quantity supply. Okay, so it's end of our of this chapter. So you can um, do some exercises to make you more understand for this topic. Okay, thank you.